Angela, we are getting pictures and video from people all over the area dealing with this storm. Let's start with the southern part of our coast. Take a look. This is video from Tracy Anthony, who sent us this video from Southport. You can see how quickly that water is moving. You can see the trees blowing in that wind there, and a lot, a lot of water in Southport. We're going to move on now to video from Princeton. This is from Reagan Baumgartner. We're told they're seeing strong winds there. You can see those trees blowing. They also tell us. They've received nearly seven inches of rain there. That is a lot of rain. And our crews are out and about in this storm as well. Our Jeff Jones and Todd Gibson are in Princeton. They sent this video in. It shows some significant flooding in the area. Look at that water there. They also tell us that the power is out everywhere in town, and that includes stoplights, which can make travel very dangerous in the area. Hopefully, people staying home and staying off those roads. And here is a little bit more video sent in from Jeff and Gibby. This time, they were in Smithfield. That rain is coming down so hard, it's hard to even see all those trucks. That's uh, just uh, around Highway 70, some flooding on the side of the road there. That's just outside Smithfield. You can also see some electric trucks. They're heading east. Hopefully, they're going toward the coast to help restore some of that power because so many folks are without power tonight. And our Felicia Bolton sent us these photos. This is Highway 50 near the town of Creedmoor. It is closed because of this reason you see right there. It is blocked by that down tree. Crews are out there working, but not clear exactly how long it's going to take to clear that road.